When you look into the night sky, you look back in time, but how far back in time can you see? Could you see with a big enough telescope the first stars and galaxies? And could you see the light from the great flash of the Big Bang itself? As we look out, we look back in time. We cannot look infinitely far out since sooner or later we will see the Big Bang. The universe started from an extremely hot and dense era. As we go backwards in time, the universe gets progressively younger, hotter and denser. But how did the cosmos go from extremely hot and dense to being filled with the multitude of stars and galaxies that dominate the night sky today? The Big Bang Theory tells us that the history of the universe's creation is a history of space eras. Each era in space lasted for a specific period and played a specific role in the formation of the universe after the Big Bang. For example, there was an era where light and matter are formed, an era where light and matter are coupled, an era where light and matter separate, and an era where atoms start feeling the gravity of a cosmic web of dark matter an era where first stars start to form, a reionization era, and so on, until the era of the many stars and galaxies that exist today. Amazingly, even though each of the past eras is considered a stage in a sequence of events that led to the creation of the universe, the evidence of each era still endures, and scientists and astrologers can still see each of them. In an article written for Space.com on March the 17th, 2014, entitled Cosmic Inflation, How It Gave the Universe the Ultimate Kickstart by Carl Tate, there is a very interesting infographic that summarizes the Big Bang space era. It's a picture of a man standing over planet Earth and looking towards space. A caption over the image reads, looking out in space and back in time. The photo explains that your eyes can see back very far in time to the degree that you might see the great flash of the Big Bang itself. But to reach this farthest point, your eyes must first pass seven eras that took place over the past 13.7 billion years. These seven eras are the Solar System era, the Galaxies era, the Proto-Galaxies era, a Reionization era, the First Stars era, then the Dark Ages era, until you reach the Great Flash era of the Big Bang itself. Each era represents an event that took place during the history of our universe. The Big Bang caused the universe, and thus the galaxies in it, to expand such that most galaxies are moving away from each other. The most distant, and thus the youngest galaxies, are moving away at a very fast speed. Because of the time it takes light to travel, the further away we look, the further back in time we are looking. The further away we look, the younger things are. In fact, as we look further and further away, we've found galaxies that go back as far as when the universe was less than one billion years old, just a few percent of its current age. This illustration compares various telescopes and how far back they're able to see. Recently, NASA announced the launch of the Webb Telescope as a successor to NASA's iconic Hubble Space Telescope. The Webb telescope has a much bigger mirror than the Hubble. This larger light collecting area means that the Webb can peer farther back in time than the Hubble is capable of doing. In other words, the Hubble telescope can see the equivalent of toddler galaxies and the Webb telescope will be able to see baby galaxies. Remarkably, long before NASA's Webb or Hubble telescopes that could peer into the mysterious night sky, the Holy Quran told us that who created seven heavens one upon another, you will see no non-uniformity in the merciful one's creation. Look back, can you see any flaw? That's right. The Quran used the words look back to emphasize looking out and back in time through the different space eras. Think about this for a moment.